Hi guys, apologies for the bad lighting, I'm doing as best as I can, but um, yeah, I think we need yet another light source somewhere, and uh, or a better camera maybe, but anyway, what I'm going to show you today is the, and I have to read it off there, Mulberry Tumbled Sheep Leather Shimmy Hobo in Purple. Um, this was to me, was described to me as ox blood, but I'm not sure this is actually ox blood um, because it's more purpley than the typical sort of reddish ox blood colour. And it is a hobo, um, and I actually really like it because um, I had a Daria hobo before, which was large, and I just found it way too big for me. And this one um, is a much more manageable size, so I thought we'll have a quick look at the features and then we'll load it up um, and see how we get on basically. Excuse the sniffles as well, um, I've got a bit of cold at the moment. So anyway, we've got these um, loops, or sorry, hoops through which uh, the um, strap is attached on this side. I don't know where you can op open that. I oh, know it's screwed in so you could unscrew that way you're inclined to do so. On this side you've got this rather ginormous kind of lobster style claw that you can open when you pull down oops this thing on that side and it just releases the claw and it goes in there now I'm not sure what you would do with this end if you then undid it you can't really attach it to anything else um, but yeah so it's probably more look rather than function <clears throat> You've got a zip going across the top with a very long uh, piece of leather to pull. Um, the hardware on here looks to be gunmetal, very nice. Um, I actually prefer that to silver, it's just more subtle. Um, and uh, yeah, I really, really like this sort of dark, putery colour. Fully lined in the broad grain fabric. Um, we've got classic. Uh, a uh, combination of the slip pocket in the front and a pocket with a zip on the other side and then there of course we've got the mulberry fob with a tree and the number. There we go. Let's have a look how big the zip pocket is. Not huge but big enough for your phone and some such. So let's do a quick measure first and then load it up. The measure <coughs> Get it up a bit, we'll get this down a bit. There we go, is that better? Um, measure across the widest part we are. I'm just measuring from seam to seam, so I'm not measuring the depth uh, to add it to the width, if you see what I mean. But we've got about 35 centimeters, and then top to bottom, 32 centimeters, and then the depth at the bottom where it's the biggest about 13 centimeters so yeah not huge but i think a good size so we're just going to load it up i've got my usual um everyday stuff here and a couple of things thrown in that i would need at a weekend multi-sip pouch um which slimmed down a little bit because i took some stuff out i kept carrying around with me and never using uh currently we have in there uh the cables charging cables and earphones We've got um, a couple of things for my um, diary, like clip and one roll of washi. We've got a few tampons and a lip cream. We've got a little child trying to come into the room. And I think he's gone away, is he coming back? Or... Um, and we've got um, awesome stickers for um, the, the diary thing. Anyway, so there we go. Pop that in there. Then, you know what we don't have? We don't have my purse because I don't have it here at the moment. So we're just going to pretend um, that it'll go in there. Then we've got my um, field note sized uh, naked cow Midori. Just been scraped and scratched and thrown around a fair bit, which I actually like on that leather. That goes in. We've got uh, my pencil case because I'm now carrying around loads of pencil with me. That was one of the things I took out of the multi sip. We've got my phone, which we are going to put in that little zippy pocket, so I don't have to root around for it. We've got a shopping bag. 
Um, some wet wipes, and that's going to things for the weekend. Uh, we're out with the little one, maybe I'm going to a cafe with him. Um, and therefore I would want my diary with me, and but certainly need his stuff or I'm going wherever. Let's just see how we go. We've got a little box with snacks for him, which is empty right now, but you see what I mean. Um, we have got a bottle with a drink for him. Because usually as soon as we get in the car, it's like, Mama, I need a drink. And we've got an umbrella. And, of course, a tissue, a pack of tissue. And there we go. So we've got everything in there. Um, as it is a hobo, everything is kind of chucked in there. Um, but I'm just looking at how wide this opens. Um, and when you hold her, the sip or the opening naturally gapes quite well. So actually accessing this is far easier than I thought it would be. Because um, I've had hobos before, but when you lift it up, which is obviously what you're probably going to be doing, you're going to open the sip and then you have it here and you're like that. And it sort of falls together in itself and you're digging around to get the things. But actually it's quite, you can see quite well what's in there. Um, so there, zip it up, and I actually I like that, that's really well, the long bar, um, that works really well, there we go, there she is, all loaded up, I probably wouldn't put an awful lot more in, just because you're then talking about filling up all of this stuff up there all of this empty space here and I think you get to a point where it would look ridiculous that way you have the sort of lovely typical hobo slouch going on um, I can still do that if I need my hands free for the child um, yeah really rather nice um, and um, again apologies for the lighting but um, this is a really lovely sort of I would say it's like an eggplanty purple um, has a bit of a shimmer to it and a lovely texture um, which I assume is that it's a tumbled sheep so it's really soft um, lovely texture great color yeah nice little bag nice little everyday chuck my stuff in run around bag anyway I'm sorry I know this was really rambly and terrible and I can't even redo it um, because I can hear a little one running around outside. So if I want to have this done this weekend, this was my watch slot. So this is all you're going to get. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please let me know what you think um, and hope to see you soon. Bye.